going to a temple. But she left. No, she's gone to a temple. But she left a, the following message for you, which is that she left a message for you that if you are back, if you come here and she is back, then she will go home with you. But if she आप थोड़ा जोर से पूछिएगा। No question। No question। So what do you want? About about what? Udaya Shankar ji। हाँ? You have to talk about Udaya Shankar ji। अच्छा, I didn't know that. Eight second. Sorry. Anyone? Angshuman थोड़ा सा, if you can control. Sorry. This is the centenary of my elder brother Uday Shankar. I, I am the youngest of the four brothers. We, we had two brothers in between. One is still alive. He's aged 93, Devendra Shankar. But my eldest brother Uday, he was born in 1900. And it was he who actually, <coughs> excuse me, it was he actually who brought the dance and music of India, including some of the very great musicians for the first time to the West. And I went along in that troupe when I was 10. That was year 1930. I'm 81 now. And uh, I spent almost eight years with his troupe. Our headquarter was Paris. And he brought all the musicians and dancers from India. We used to tour all around the world, including, I mean, whole of Europe, whole of America, coming to India also, in Asian countries. But we came back to Paris always. And I started <clears throat> from that young age as a dancer, mostly. And my brother Uday, he was a dancer, and his training was not that much in the beginning, but he always followed the Kathakali system, which he liked most. And he also had knowledge of a lot of folk dances of different parts of India. And with all that knowledge, he created his own, his own style, mostly presentation on the stage. And having been with Anna Pavlova for almost a year and a half, touring with her and teaching her and dancing in her ballet, 
<coughs> he had the wonderful knowledge of the whole stage presentation, lighting, decor, scenes, punctuality, and behavior of the audience, and the items not being very long, not monotonous. So these were the things he really learned from the West, but not the form of dance or anything. Many people have this wrong conception. And much later, in 1934, when we were in Calcutta, he got Guru Shankaran Nambudri from Kerala, one of the greatest Kathakali dancer, and even Bala Saraswati, who was not one of the, maybe the greatest at that time, uh, Bharatanatyam dancer. She came also. So we had a good training. I personally also learned for a little while some Kathak style. So dance was actually my main uh, thing that I did. But without learning much, I was playing sitar, sarod, dilroba, flute, and all that. And uh, luckily what happened, we had people like Timir Varan, Sarot there and uh, student of Baba Alauddin and also Vishnu Das Shirali who played sitar, sang, tabla, all different instruments. So I was very inspired and I used to hear them and I used to copy as much as I could. But luckily what happened uh, also that Baba himself joined, that is my guru who became my guru later on, Baba Alauddin in year 1935, for one year. And he started touring all over Europe in our troop. And he started teaching me also. So that was my initiation into the strict classical system from such a great guru. But after one year he left the troop and he went back to Maihar state, which was a native state in those days, and he was the Raj Guru. And it took me another almost two years to decide to be a dancer or a musician. But I was really so, so much deeply moved by the training I had for that one year period from Baba that I finally decided uh, that I'll take music and left my brother's troop and went to Maihar. And almost seven, seven and a half years I was with Baba continuously and learned in the very old Gurukul system and uh, he was a terror as a teacher, of course, and uh, very old principled person. So that was my life away, parting from Uday Shankar, my brother. After that, in year 39, he started, that is my brother Uday, the Almora Uday Shankar Culture Center in Almora. And that was done in such a big, huge American style with studios and uh, music studio, dance studio, students' quarters, teachers' quarters, all situated in a hilltop in Almora. But he, because he did it in such a big manner, the, it couldn't continue because the war came and all the help that was coming from the West through his friends and admirers in Europe and America, that stopped. And India was not independent then, so we didn't have any help, and that culture center had to be shut down. And, but he made, after that, a great film called Kalpana, which was, I think, one of the, even today, one of the outstanding films of, you know, showing dance and ballet and the whole cinematography which he never did before but it was a unique thing. So his contribution to our culture, dance and music is unique and it's very sad that today being his centenary year, year if you ask a young person who Uday Shankar is they don't know. I mean, nothing has been really done or to keep his but anything done on stage today in India, in dance, in way of doing choreography, lighting and all this, he
he was the pioneer and he started and I personally learned so much from him. That is the way how to present platform, sitting properly, proper light, proper dress, uh, incense burning to create this atmosphere. Now everybody is following and everybody uh, is giving their performance in that way, in music I mean. <coughs> so no matter how you say people like Timir Baran, Shirali, uh, Baba Aladdin, he was the person who took them out, who made them their name outside, including Baba's son, uh, my uh, Guru Bhai, uh, Ali Akbar Khan. He was also in the cultural Moda Center and got the first idea of, you know, touring outside. It was all directly, indirectly, even I myself consider influenced by my brother. To my brother Uday, as and even myself, Paris, in general France, always has been a second home. Because that's where, in the olden days, I remember from 1930 onward till 1938, so much happening and uh, love for India, love for Indian culture, and especially my brother's, all his experimental work and before he formed the troupe and brought us in 1930, he spent most of his time in Paris. And his wonderful partner, Simki, <coughs> whose name was Simone Barbier, she was so fantastic. She was a piano player, but she left her career as a pianist and took to dancing and became my brother's partner for many years. And it was so fantastic when they did the dance of Radha Krishna or Shiva Parvati. They absolutely fitted the part. People used to gasp with excitement. It was so beautiful. And my memory for Paris is so fantastic. We used to live in the Cesium and uh, we had a house there and we had Andre Segovia, almost like our neighbor, who used to visit us. Even Georges Enesco visited us and uh, people like Yehudi Menuhin didn't come to our place, but we met all these great musicians, even Yasha Haifit, Sigeti, all these names I remember. It was fabulous and that was the time when all these American expatriates were there in different salons. I remember vaguely having met, I didn't know them well, but I saw them. People like Cole Porter, Gertrude Stein, and so many famous people, really. And uh, Dada, as I used to call my brother, Uday, he was like, like a superstar, a hero in his prime, you know, with his personality and and his Kalpana should be seen really even today. It's a black and white film, but it is something which gives such depth to his mind and his creative power. And uh, I'm still very much attached to Paris and France. 